Once upon a twilight dreary, wandered I through alleys eerie, in a quaint and nameless hamlet, unknown to many a weary shore. While I lingered faint and weary, midst the shadows cold and dreary, came upon a church, its spire piercing heaven's vaulted door. Lo, I'll rest, I whispered softly, neath this hallowed sacred floor, and the world forget before. Through the open arch I wandered, where the faithful prayed and pondered, clad in robes of purest white, like the firstborn snowfall's hoar, pews of oak and stained glass framing, chants of pious voices claiming, sweetest refuge in this sanctum, safe from darkness that I bore. Here, thought I, my burdened spirit shall unburden and restore, in the peace I've longed for more. But anon a pall descended as the darkness around them blended, silent figures swathed in sable, slipping through the ancient door. Creeping shadows, black as midnight, stole the peace, the sacred birthright, of this hallowed congregation as they'd done in times before. What is this, I muttered, trembling, that these people thus endure as their prayers are swept ashore? Then a darkness, thick and viscous, settled round, malign and vicious, suffocating sacred silence, turning prayers to whispers more. In the gloom the black ones wandered, as the faithful watched and wondered, darkness coiling round the pious, seeping into every pore. Tell me what foul curse has taken hold, I begged, and what's in store for this sacred house of yore? Scarce had I the question spoken, when the gloom was torn and broken by a third wave, crimson-robed, who breached the sanctuary's door, filling aisles with ruddy splendor. Neath the light their garments render, as they danced and chanted wildly, like the worshippers of yore. Is this ritual or madness, thought I, or both forevermore woven in this church's core? In the sea of roiling red, the people lost as if long dead, their prayers and pious utterances drowned in chaos evermore. And I, a helpless, haunted stranger, midst the throes of fear and danger, could but watch the scene unfolding like a nightmare from folklore. God, I prayed, grant me solace, strength to flee this fearful shore, and forget this scene forevermore. As I fled the church of shadows, leaving dark and nameless meadows, I could hear the eerie echoes of that service held before. And though miles have stretched between us, still the haunting darkness lingers in the corners of my psyche bound to me forevermore. For I know in sleepless slumber I shall see the crimson door and the strange church service evermore.